How do you speak the word? Number one, in prayer to God. And number two, you speak it over negative situations and circumstances. You can speak the word returning God's word to him by presenting your case, but you can also speak the word over negative situations and circumstances. The Bible tells us to speak to the mountain, which means we can speak to negative situations and circumstances. Speaking the word means lifting scripture and speaking it over situations. We lift scripture from the Bible, not opinions. To speak the word does not mean to just talk. Many times we are speaking, but what we are saying is not scriptural. That's why it does not work. It is not just to open your mouth and say something. Make sure what you are saying is consistent with the word of God. So let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich. Let those trusting God for a job declare that in the name of Jesus, favor is locating me. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. I have set before you life and death, and you declare I choose life. There's no barrenness in my hands because a command was given to me. Be fruitful. And so I'll declare, according to God's word, I am fruitful. My organs are functioning perfectly fine from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet. As I grow in age, I grow in strength. I grow in wisdom. This is the day that the Lord has made. I decree and declare that I rejoice in it. Again, I rejoice, nothing annoys me. I live a life of joy and peace. I decree and declare that there is a wall of fire around me. I never go where there is trouble. My steps are ordered by the Lord. In the name of Jesus, I am delivered from the scorching tongues of men. No divination and no enchantment against me will prosper. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. I run into it and I am safe. I declare that I'm supernaturally protected. No weapon fashioned against me shall prosper and every tongue that rises up against me shall fall in judgment. In the name of Jesus, I am victorious even by the Spirit of God. The Word of God is working for me. It's producing supernatural results in my life. In the name of Jesus, this body is prepared to serve the Lord. Therefore, I declare that infirmity has no place to stay in my body. I declare in Jesus' name that there is a lifting up. Premature death will never have its toll on me. The fullness of my days I will fulfill. I shall not be a victim of the arrows that fly by day, nor the pestilence that walks in darkness. Every tree that has not been planted by God is uprooted from my life. In Jesus' name, I receive an abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness. I reign in life through Jesus Christ. I look out not only for my own interests, but also for the interests of others. I am kind and tender-hearted to others. I forgive them as God in Christ has forgiven me. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I ask God to set a guard over my mouth. He keeps watch over the door of my lips. I let the peace of Christ rule in my heart. I have peace in Christ and I am thankful. I walk in a manner worthy of the Lord, pleasing Him in all respects. I bear fruit in every good work and I am increasing in the knowledge of God. I am being strengthened with all power according to his might. I have great endurance and patience. God has not given me a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. He loads me daily with benefits. He is my salvation. I am his servant, and he takes pleasure in my prosperity. Everything I do is blessed. I am successful and prosperous. I honor the Lord with my wealth and the first fruits of all my produce. My barns are filled with plenty. My vats overflow with new wine. I bring the whole tithe into the storehouse and he opens the windows of heaven for me and pours out a blessing so great that I don't have enough room for it. I prosper in all things. I remain in health just as my soul prospers. God abundantly blesses my provision. Christ redeemed me from the curse of the law by becoming a curse for me. I therefore declare that no curse will manifest in my life. Curses and wicked plans are nulled by his blood. 
I experience all blessings as I obey the Lord my God. I am blessed in the city and blessed in the country. I am blessed when I come in and blessed when I go out. The Lord causes my enemies who rise against me to be defeated right before my face. They come out against me one way and flee before me in seven ways. The Lord has established me as a holy person to himself. I keep his commandments and walk in his ways. Sin has no power over me. The Lord opens to me his good treasure. He opens the heavens to give rain to my land and to bless all the work of my hand. In the name of Jesus, I lend to many nations, but I will not borrow. The Lord makes me the head and not the tail, above and not beneath. God blesses me and surrounds me with favor as a shield. Destiny helpers are real. I call them by the Spirit. My ways please the Lord, and he makes even my enemies to be at peace with me. The God of hope fills me with all joy and peace in believing so that I abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Lord of peace is peace. In every way, he always gives me his peace. The joy of the Lord is my strength. I am confident of this very thing, that he who has begun a good work in me will finish it. Therefore, declare that everything I start, I finish. I receive supernatural ideas. I declare that God works in me both to will and to do his good pleasure. I always rejoice in the Lord and my gentleness is known to all people. I declare that I am anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. I let my requests be made known to God and the peace of God, which surpasses all comprehension, will guard my heart and mind in Christ Jesus. In Jesus' name I press on, that I may lay hold of that which Christ Jesus has also laid hold of me. Forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward to those things which are ahead, I press toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. God instructs me and keeps me as the apple of his eye. I am a crown of glory and a royal diadem in the hand of the Lord. God rejoices over me as a bridegroom rejoices over his bride. The Lord has chosen me for himself as his special treasure. I declare God's word about who I am, what I have, and what I can do in Christ Jesus, who gives me strength. I am established as his child in all ways, and I shine in his light. I speak God's word, and it does not return to him void. His word accomplishes what he pleases, and it prospers in the thing for which he sends it to do. The Lord has given me the tongue of the disciples. I know how to speak a word in due season to those who are weary. The Lord God awakens me every morning to fellowship with him and he opens my ears to hear as the learned. I speak pleasant words that are sweet to the soul and healing to the bones. In Jesus' name, I declare that I am wise and I bring healing. I have a wholesome tongue, which is a tree of life to myself and others. I speak words of life. I am satisfied with the good fruit produced by my words. As I speak God's word, he sends it to heal and deliver me from my destruction. God forgives all my iniquities and heals all of my diseases. I therefore declare that sickness will not dwell in my body, for my body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Christ bore my sins in his own body on the cross, and I am healed by his stripes. I am blessed with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ. I am chosen in Christ before the foundation of the world, that I may be holy and blameless before the Father. I am predestined to adoption as a child of God by the Father through Jesus Christ according to the good pleasure of his will. I have redemption through Jesus Christ's blood and the forgiveness of sins. I have obtained an inheritance in Christ. I am sealed with the Holy Spirit who is the guarantee of my inheritance. I am saved by grace through faith. 
I am not saved by my own works. In the name of Jesus, I am victorious. God gives me victory through Jesus Christ my Lord. I thank God. He always leads me triumphantly, and through me, He spreads everywhere the fragrance of knowing Him. I have the mind of Christ. He made Christ who knew no sin to be sin for me, that I might become the righteousness of God in Him. I am in Christ Jesus, and therefore I am a new creation. Old things have passed away, and all things have become new. God my Father has delivered me from the power of darkness and transferred me into the kingdom of his beloved Son. I, therefore, declare in Jesus' name that sin and its dominion will have no power over me.